Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us his truth to rule well. Um, I'm going to go into something real quick. All right. Um, Lord willing, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. But this is uh, one of the start off in Job chapter 2. All right. Because we're going to go through certain things, man. You know, and even if it's good things, you know, we still got to give all praises. And all honor and all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. You know, because they're ultimately like scripture is written. Um, Yahweh Shai is the author of our faith. You know, and the Most High is not the author of confusion. You know, so there should be no confusion in the faith that we carry. Uh, there should be no confusion in the steps that we're taking. You know, trying to striving to be part of that number, part of the elect. You know, that's what Job went through, King David. Okay, many men, many great men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The book of Daniel talks about how many good things happen to Daniel, all right, and bad things happen to Daniel too, you know. So, throughout Daniel being, you know, seen as a, as a great man, even in the time of the Babylonians, uh, Daniel still worshiped Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know. Daniel wasn't thinking about, man, I'm such a such a great wise man, a uh, great wise man, you know, and stop worshiping Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Even through his his uh, success, he still worshiped Yahweh, and you know he's back here today worshiping Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, through his troubles, he still worshiped Yahweh. You know, and he's back again worshiping Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The same thing with King David. King David through his his wins okay through his success still worshiped the most high and king david at, at his lowest points he still worshiped yahweh bashim yahweh shai you have that account in the book of samuel where uh king david you know was cursed um was being cursed out by that benjamite okay and king david understood that if that Benjamite was cursing him, it's because the Most High allowed him to curse him. So King David said, you know what? Let, let him be. Don't kill him. You know? So King David understood that, man. Even when King David got uh, Urias, uh, the wife that was of Urias, whenever he got her pregnant, okay? And the babe was born and had, had a sickness on him for seven days and then the babe died. As soon as the babe died, King David stopped weeping stop mourning okay king david had a uh, uh what's it called he um stopped fasting okay he got up cleaned himself ate went to the temple and worshiped yahweh Shai. you know so this is the book of job chapter 2 and verse 8 it says and he took him a pot shirt uh pot shirt to scrape himself withal and he sat down among the ashes. It says, Then said his wife unto him. Okay, because Job was going through, through tribulation. All right. Then said his wife unto him, Dost thou still re retain thine integrity? Curse the most high and die. Okay, so she was, she was simple. You know? And that also proves, you know, the way that, that women think, man. You know? We're supposed to be that, that head. You know? And the body follows the head. The same thing with a horse. Whenever a horse is being mounted or being broken in, all right, or once it's broken in, what do you do? You control the horse by controlling the head, you know? So you put a string, um, you know, or a type of string or a type of rope, you know, around the, or in the horse's mouth, okay? And then when you yank it to the right, the body of the horse moves to the right, you know? When you turn it to the left, or when you turn the horse's head to the left, the horse's body is going to fall to the left. You know, it's a simple thing. And that's why you have Esau Edom that tries to break away the head, all right, which is the man from the family, which is the woman and the children. All right. And, and what you have is confusion brought forth because the body, the body was never meant to lead, you know. The body was never meant to lead. It was meant to follow the lead. 
which is the head. You see? So if the whole head was sick, okay, then the rest of the body is sick. And that also goes into Sirach chapter 10, you know, and it goes into the state of mind that Israel's in. You know? The whole head was sick, man. And now through Yahweh being the head, the, the chief uh, cornerstone, all right, the body is being reassembled to follow in the good graces of Yahabashim Yahweh which is the elect. All right. So it says, uh, verse 10, but he saith unto her, Thou speakest as one of those foolish women speak. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of the Most High? Okay. And shall we not receive evil? And all this did. Uh, did not Job sin with his lips Okay, so You know, some of us may be going through Some better times than other brothers You know, some of us may be going through Some worse time than other brothers But at the end of the day The Most High wrote our faith Okay, so you can't You know, look at a brother and say Oh man, that brother's going through some stuff He might not be a man of the Lord Because that's what the men did to Job You know, and you can't look At another man and say, man, he's not you know, he's not really going through too much stuff. You know, he can't be a man of the Lord. Because then you have men of Yahweh Shai that didn't necessarily always go through through tribulation. You know, they didn't always go through a certain type of tribulation, man. You know, but eventually that tribulation will come. All right. When Jacob's trouble hits, everybody's going to go through that tribulation. But the ones that have been readied up in the mind and in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, Okay. Those are the ones that are going to persevere. And continue through Jacob's trouble While the rest of them Their minds are not going to be strengthened You know So the Most High will throw at you Alright whatever he needs to throw at you Whether it's success Or whether it's failure You know So it says um, uh, Let me go to this one This is Ecclesiastes 3 and 1 To everything There is a season Okay so just because a brother's going through some tough times doesn't mean he's not a man of the Lord. And just because he's not going through tough times does not mean he's not a man of the Lord. You know? Because there's a season and a time for everything. Whether the most high, you know, a brother once told me, all right, sometimes part of the balance is cutting it off completely. You know? So say you 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 like drinking, you know, and you, you drink a lot. You know, and there's two days out of a month that you just, you know, completely drink too much. All right. That's still that's still an excess, man. You shouldn't be doing that, you know, drinking too much. You know, now, there's nothing bad with with drinking or anything like that, you know, but being, you know, having excess or, you know, is is, is not good for you either for the body, you know, but sometimes part of the balance all right sometimes part of the balance like that brother told me is cutting it off completely you know so you know there's certain things in the scripture all right and part of the seasons all right there's a season to everything maybe it's not meant for you to enjoy that that part now man all right but you focus on your how about shimia will shine in the kingdom of heaven you're going to be enjoying that and much more in righteousness you know not under these fleshly bodies, not under this, this weak state that we're in. You know, it says in a time to every purpose under the heaven. OK, so under you, how about you? shy. All right. There's there's purpose to everything, man. So if it's a season for you to have, you know, some type of success, then then all praises to you. How about was shy? You know, self afflict yourself if if possible, man, you know, which is fasting. You know, and if you're going through some tough times, then all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Count it all as dung, you know. Count everything as a loss in order that you may gain Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, you know, because ultimately that's our goal, you know. What, what's, you know, what's billion, billions of dollars and millions of women, okay, and millions and millions of success stories to one day in heaven? It's nothing. All right. It's nothing for one day in the kingdom. All right. Let me get that. Psalms 84. And it's 
Lucky. Psalms 84 and 4, it says, Blessed are they that dwell in thy house, they will be still praising thee. Okay? Salah. You see? So those that are in the house, the elect that are in the house of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, which to be profane means to be outside of the temple. And those that are in the house of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai are in the temple of Yahweh Shai. All right? The temple of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right? They're not profane. You know? So it says, blessed, verse 5, is the man whose strength is, strength is in thee. Okay, if your strength is in the ways of the, the flesh, okay, then there, there is no strength at all. It says, in whose heart are thy ways of them? You know? So those that follow after the Most High, they're going to follow after the ways of the Most High. You know? They're not just going to be in it when it's successful to be in it. You see, and that, that goes for a lot of camps out there, man. They only follow after the Most High when it's convenient. Okay, when it pays. Okay, not knowing that the ultimate pay is to stay in the house of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Okay, it says, Who passing through the valley of Baca make it a, a well, the rain also filleth the pools. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeareth before the Most High. O Yahweh, God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Salah, behold. O God, our, our shield, and look upon the face of thine anointed. You see? For a day in thy courts, one day, okay? A day in thy courts is better than a thousand. Okay? Talking about a thousand days here on earth. A thousand good days at that. Perfect days. A thousand perfect days where you walk outside and you find $50. That kind of good day. All right? Where you walk down the street and all the women looking at you. Like you're you're a hot piece of chocolate, man. You know, melting. <laughs> you know, one of those days. You know, the day wherever your your half tank of gas lasts you all day. You know, or well, a full tank of gas lasts you two weeks. All right, that kind of days, man. A thousand one of those days, man. Is not even in comparison to one day. You know, not even one day in the court of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, so how much more should we be, you know, longing? How much more should we be, you know, uh, uh, fighting and, and excelling into being in that in that position? You see, much more than anything in the world. You know, so it says, uh, verse ten again. Uh, the second sentence, it says, I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my power than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. All right. And that's where we're at right now. The tents of wickedness. Okay. So King David said, I would rather be a doorkeeper. You know, just opening the door for everybody else, man. But nobody opens it, opens it for you. You know, so a doorkeeper is not really looked at as somebody of, of importance. You know, they look at him like, that's your job. Open the door for me. You know, so King David was saying, man, I'd rather be a door, uh, a doorkeeper, you know, in the tent of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man, than to be in, you know, in riches and, and, and in wealth in the tents of wicked, of the wickedness, you know, or of the wicked. It says, verse 11, for Yahweh, the Most High, is a sun and shield. Yahweh will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. You see, so there's going to be good things for the righteous, especially when the kingdom comes. Okay, but there's also going to be bad things that happen. All right, that may seem as bad things. You know, but the Most High has has his own ordinance, man. When you read the book of Tobit, all right, Tobit was a righteous man. You know. He wouldn't suffer Israelites to be out in the streets dead, man. And it almost costed him his life. And the only reason why it didn't cost him his life is because the Most High sent a bird, all right, to, to uh, put it in, in, you know, more graphic words, shit on uh, Tobit's eyes through a bird, all right, so that Tobit went blind. 
But ultimately, that was a blessing because now Tobit, all right, is, wasn't dead. He lived, you know? So he didn't see any more Israelites that were being put to death. He couldn't tell where they were, okay? So now the Most High, you know, saved his ass and it wasn't in a pretty manner. So the Most High may save your ass, all right? He may be saving your ass when he's rebuking you, man, you know? Because that's what he does, man. Open rebuke is better than secret love, right? And the Most High loves us as children, his children, you know, talking about the the men of, of Yashar Allah of Israel, you know, the women too and children, okay? But don't forget the, that the Most High does everything for a reason, man, you know? So I hope that was edifying. And with that, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, Shalom.